guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is Monday, May 3rd. Welcome to May 2021. My name is Aubrey and this is my astrological outlook for the day. So you guys, even though it's Monday and we are in a new week and we are in a new month, May, we are still carrying over and activating energetics from Friday today. And also we had Venus conjuncting the black moon over the weekend really putting the emphasis on the feminine and Taurus themes that we've had a lot going on with lately and bringing up fears and insecurities, the black moon regarding money, love, comfort, relationships, personal values, and a sense of fear or loss regarding those things. Black moon and Taurus or Scorpio. First of all, the black moon is our shadow side, our subconscious, our silent programming mechanisms that really drive our feelings and behavior even though we may not be conscious as to what exactly the nature of that is and in Taurus and Scorpio that centers around the fear of loss or losing and with Venus and the black moon together in Taurus this can turn into a fear of losing what we love or a fear of not being valued but also Venus and the black moon in Taurus, while Uranus is also in Taurus, remember Uranus is the great rectifier and the great awakener, is realigning our values and our personal value and what we love and reconfiguring what is important to us to begin to align us with what is also truly authentic for us. Remember, this whole year is a big push towards personal authenticity. And moving into our new paradigm and our new energetics, a reintegration of feminine qualities into divine wholeness of the feminine energy is part of this process. Venus and the black moon coming together, the two sides of the feminine in Taurus, Venus's sign while we have Uranus there, um, putting things right, okay? And at 22 degrees of Taurus, remember, I really love this Sabian for the planets that have been conjuncting the black moon while she's there. And this degree is a large white dove over troubled water. So we know this is done through releasing fears, worries, resentment, and subconscious beliefs about our lives and circumstances in ourselves that keep us in negative cycles of self-sabotage, you know, the black moon, that prohibits us from realizing our true value and being able to attract and receive the love, the joy, the comfort, and the security, all of those Venus Taurus themes that we um, truly desire. Venus, again, what we desire. This dynamic tells us that we must align with the qualities of the white dove in our hearts and souls as this is um, how we transcend out of the fear and insecurity ruling our lives and creating our realities into peace, love, and abundance, right? So we must, that's what we must do. We must align our hearts with the proper frequency, the white dove needed to create the new reality going forward that is not consisting of those base shadow side fears and insecurities and um, creating a reality built on magnifying and attracting the things that we don't want and that are subconsciously dominating and controlling our actions. That's kind of what, how the black moon operates. It's like the silent programming system of the psyche. And we are all really being called right now to clear that out, clean that out, and um, get back in touch with our true self-worth and our true creative potential, Venus, and our authenticity, Uranus. And that's like the whole dynamic of this whole energetic that's in play. So we know that that's going on. And now back to today's energetics, because that is what um, some of the energy that's been carrying over through the weekend from that conjunction from Venus and the Black Moon and also the Uranus Sun conjunction that we had on Friday. So the main thing we're looking at today in particular is a T-square between the Sun, the Earth, and Saturn is conjoining the Moon today. So they're forming a T-square. We have the Sun in Taurus, we have the Earth in Scorpio, and then we have Saturn in Aquarius, and the Moon exactly conjoins Saturn and Aquarius today as well. And this is more, I've been talking about, you know, the kind of the impact that Saturn has been having on this whole situation, and it's really more of that external source putting pressure and restriction on our ability to transform at that soul level, really make those Uranus changes. And it has um, 
today, I mean, whenever the moon conjuncts Saturn, it's more of kind of like a heavy energetic and um, kind of like emotionally critical and cold. But today with this, we do have, you know, emotionally heavy energy and feeling to it generally, the moon sort of creating like an emotional burden or sense of hopelessness today, especially with that T-square between your, or between the sun and Taurus and the earth and Scorpio. Today kind of reminds me of that saying, you know, it's always darkest right before the sun rises. That's kind of like the general sense of what I'm getting with the energetic for today. And there is just, you know, the moon and Saturn always kind of hindrance it makes a hindrance to optimism um and with the moon and saturn at 14 degrees of aquarius remember this is that sabian a train entering a tunnel so this sort of creates a sense of entering darkness on an emotional level and the sun i mean and with that saturn and in square to the sun and the earth today and the sun is at 14 this is happening at 14 degrees 14 taurus 14 scorpio 14 Aquarius. That's where everything is. So um, the sun is at 14 degrees of Taurus today and that's on a beach. Children play while shellfish grope at the edge of the water. And then we have the earth today at 14 Scorpio. Telephone linemen at work. That's what's going on on Earth today. So we really want to relax and play and experience freedom from duty and responsibility and just be able to be carefree and enjoy our lives, you know, children playing at the beach. But we have internal or external pressures or restrictions giving us tunnel vision or making us feel as though we have no control over where we're going or where we will be when we come out the other side type vibe. We know, though, that the lines of communication are actually being repaired with this today the telephone what is it the telephone man at work um and this is just in time it's ironic because this is just in time for mercury to move into gemini tomorrow and so that is a big shift that we're going to be having mercury moving to gemini and that's happening tomorrow and that is mercury in his sign of rulership strengthening and clearing up and empowering and emphasizing communications of all kinds as well as activating destiny because remember we have the north node our collective destiny and where we're going the path forward where we're being pulled to in gemini as well so mercury's entrance into gemini tomorrow into his own sign uh, with the North Node is going to cause us to receive a lot of information, ideas, thoughts, shifts in perspective that align us with where we're going to and help us move away from where we've been and break um, through dogmatic belief systems that have restricted our ability to grow and evolve consciously. Mercury. So the flood of information is incoming with Mercury's entrance into Gemini and the conjunction with the nodes. Um, information is going to increase and increase as it move, Mercury moves to conjunct the nodes. And it's also interesting because in the Vedic system, Mars is moving into Gemini right now. And so both systems are indicating an extreme highlight and emphasis and... Uh, flow and action behind information and the Gemini themes. So we know that that's what we're entering into in this month. And this is also Gemini month. The sun will be moving there as well. So throughout the course of this month, I'm expecting information of all kinds to start flowing. Mercury will also retrograde soon and we'll talk about that and that will kind of back things up a little bit. But for now, he's moving direct and he's moving into his own sign tomorrow and that's gonna do a lot of good things for us. Um, but for now and today and while Mercury has not yet moved into Gemini and we have this conjunction from the moon to Saturn and the T-square, we are entering the tunnel and Mother Earth is repairing and upgrading our telephone lines with this. And this also makes me think a little bit about um, this may bring enhanced abilities in terms of telepathic communications. That is a theme that is going to become more and more relevant and common as we move into the age of Aquarius, just telepathic communications and um, the ability to kind of communicate on a signal frequency type basis becoming more of a feature of 
um, or ability of humans as we move further into the age of Aquarius. And I think that with Mercury's entrance into Gemini right now and the Earth being at the telephone lines being communicated and Uranus being so active, that that might actually be something that we see moving into this next month a little bit. All right. Um, and remember, this is all just getting started, okay? We're not even a full 30 days into the new age of Aquarius energy yet. So despite the emotional heaviness or um, obstruction today interfering with our ability to let go of duty and responsibility and um, embrace the fun and carefree nature of our inner child, you know, children playing at the beach, we're also receiving major cognitive and mental upgrades to repair issues or problems in our thought and communication patterns. Telephone line minute work. Mercury into Gemini tomorrow. Remember, these upgrades also have to do a lot with the Taurus and Black Moon themes that I discussed in the beginning of the report. That whole dynamic is part of the consciousness, the repair of consciousness, the consciousness repair process that we are undergoing today. The black moon is our subconscious mind. That's getting an upgrade as well. And v with Venus there and at that white dove degree, we are really being called to clear our subconscious and rise into holding a subconscious pattern of things associated with the dove symbolism instead of the fear and um, everything that goes along with that. Uh, there's one more point of contention today that we should be aware of, though. We have Venus, the ruler of Taurus, where the majority of all the planets are right now and where all the action is happening. At that 24 degrees of Taurus today, where we had Mercury on Friday, and that Sabian, remember, is an Indian warrior riding fiercely human scalps hanging from his belt. So the nature of the T-square today between the Sun and Taurus the Earth in Scorpio and the Moon in Saturn in Aquarius can make us feel um, Venus, like our, our, you know, our feelings, our love, our value, uh, what is um, what we're holding on to, what gives us comfort. Very ruthless and aggressive when it comes to matters of the heart. All of those and also all of those, like I just said, those Taurus venus black moon themes it's even more important today because of this to let things go and really try to get to that white dove feeling and energetic and not align your heart with vengeance as we may be seeking vengeance today for the things that we perceive to be interfering with our joy freedom and ability to be ourselves you know we're all striving to come into that freedom and personal authenticity and making us feel um, restricted and hopeless, we might really just be like out for blood in terms of uh, things that are interfering with our peace and comfort and love and what makes us feel good. We naturally go to vengeance today with Venus at this degree and all of the emphasis, the emphasis that there is on Taurus, but this is not, remember, truly what the Black Moon and Venus actually want from us. Um, they and these energetics will pass. Venus and the Black Moon for their conjunction wanted us to rise above and embody joy, peace, love, and forgiveness. And these energetics, Venus will only be at this degree for a day. So while today might be heated and we might be feeling very ruthless towards people who we feel are interfering with our comfort and our peace, it will pass. And we should, you know, it's not bad to fight, but we should only fight for what is truly, truly of value today. And we want to stand up strong for our values and what we love. And this really may be necessary in some way under these energetics and in extreme cases. But generally, remember, things are being worked on today. And we want to come out the other side of the tunnel and not be lost in the darkness. Our actions and our thoughts are very powerful manifestors in this reality. And we want to really try our best to transcend the energetics and to be at a frequency like the black moon and venus are asking us that's so high that nothing going on on earth right now can interfere with our own personal creative process and what we are personally drawing and manifesting and attracting to ourselves in our lives because at the end of the day 
astrology is only as powerful as we are unconscious of our own power. And while it is very real and very effective and very tangible in this experience, there are higher and lower octaves to everything. And the more conscious we become of our own actions, our behaviors, and the consequences of those, the less of an impact the lower and negative octaves of the energetics can have on us. And the more free we become to utilize the creative potential of universe to create the highest octaves of our potential and that is what and that which is truly in alignment with the divine blueprint and path of our souls so that is how the black moon and venus want us to maneuver these energetics and today like i said it's really that t-square with the sun and the earth and that saturn moon today don't be upset with yourself for feeling you know overly critical or emotionally cold or just emotionally restricted or feeling kind of like a heavy energy or feeling emotionally burdened today for some reason it is a nature of the energetics and with venus at that degree it can really provoke some kind of ugly feelings but it will pass we have <laughs> um we have another extremely extremely big and important month coming up with um a lot of secrets revealed we have all of this mercury energy coming and big financial changes and shifts. I know I've been yelling and yammering about this for the past month and we haven't seen really a lot presented to us yet, but that doesn't mean that things haven't been going on behind the scenes that just have not made their way to the public forefront yet because we know that the media is a tool and it's used to create an image and we just haven't gotten the the true image yet but the media is also ruled by mercury and gemini and in the vedic system with mars now going into gemini and in the western system with mercury now going into gemini the media is going to be highlighted this month and i do believe and information as well so we should start hearing about some of the massive change occurrences that went on um this past month this past few weeks that just maybe publicly haven't been exposed yet but we know that's coming and also as jupiter moves into pisces and begins conjunction with neptune that is also going to just completely open the floodgates literally and figuratively so we have a lot to look forward to we have a lot to be hopeful about we don't need to be hard on ourselves um with this energy today and we should really try our best not to be too hard on others it's okay to stand up for what we believe in and what we value and what's important to us but not to the extent of losing ourselves in the process so that's what I have for today, guys. If you liked my video, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe, please subscribe and leave me a comment. I absolutely love your comment. Share it with your friends if you want. And I will see you back here tomorrow for our astrological outlook for Tuesday and Mercury's entrance into Gemini. Yay. All right. See you tomorrow, guys. Bye.